Okay, today we're going to talk a little bit about voice search using Bing. And one thing you, you can see here is that there's a little search button right here, and that, that is, that's Bing that's available to you. So if anywhere, anytime you're anywhere, you can go right to Bing search by just pressing on that button. You go to Bing search, and of course you can type in up here and do the usual typing things, you know, and you can look on stuff that's going on today and all that. But if you look up here in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a little microphone. So if we're here and we speak after we press the microphone, it's going to try and act on that and conduct a search after I press it. Pizza in Thousand Oaks. So what it's done is gone to being local, okay, and here we have a list of the pizza places nearby. Okay, if we go over to media, there's pictures of pizza, the shopping, it's about ads and things like that, regular web search. But the local search is what we want to talk about here for a second because this links in to uh, actually eventually Nokia uh, maps. And so let's talk about that. See, number one, number two, let's say I said Pizza Hut is number number one, Diamore is number two. So if we press it on this screen here, it'll widen up to a large uh, screen and it'll put all these different ones here. So there's Pizza Hut. If I want to go to, let's say, number four, which is Domino's Pizza, okay, I say, okay, I want to go to Domino's Pizza. Well, if I look here, there's this real directional arrow up there. So if I press on that, by the way, the button here centers this your location on the screen. So if I go here and you return to search, if I go here and press the directional arrow, it says from, and then of course you just leave it at your lo current location if you have your GPS turned on and Domino's Pizza, and you press enter, it goes out and gives you your driving instructions, okay? Your location and all that stuff and how far it is and all that. So you can actually uh, follow these instructions how to do that. Uh, one more step is if you press that little turn arrow right there, it brings up Nokia Maps. It says it's beta, but it's a hell of a beta. Now turn right. It starts giving you instructions on how to get there. Uh, of course, this is the night view. Uh, you can do different things with it, but uh, different options by pressing here. You can go, to, this is 3D, we can go to 2D, which is just a regular flat map. It might be a little more fun. You can go to 3D. It gives you a little bit of an angle view. And there's other stages on how to stop. You can save the current location and things like that. So if you're going to do search, okay, if you're going to do maps, I would not go down to use the beta interface here because uh, I can't find a voice version of doing that. I would always go to Bing. I would s simply press the 405 East Hillcrest Avenue, Thousand Oaks, California. See, once it finds the actual address, you know, even if it's a friend, whatever it finds that address, uh, then you just press on that and there you are you're into your same interface where you can press on the directions and say like that and go and it'll give you your directions on how to get there and of course from there then you go into the beta and now turn right. navigation starts